saluez-nous toutes et m'a dit nous que. Greetings to you all. At the time of the earthquake of January 2010, we weren't married, but my fiancé and I were living in two different locations. When the earthquake happened on Tuesday afternoon, we were really shocked. That was the first time we witnessed such a big catastrophe. We understood that the country was completely destroyed according to what we saw in Port-au-Prince. I was in the backyard between two low-level houses. My first move was to go and check on my nephews and nieces to make sure they weren't in danger, and then to check on other people and to get to my fiancés. This is when I realized there were a lot of destroyed houses and many people were stuck under the rubble. We were going to try to save their lives. This is what happened to me on that day, but I hadn't yet realized what had happened in the rest of the city because we were outside the city. We stayed in our neighborhood to help people who were in need because I wasn't physically injured. That same night of the earthquake, everybody looked for an empty lot with no houses or electrical poles or wires that could bring more danger to us. We spent our first night outside under the stars looking at the sky because at that time we didn't even have a tent to live. The following day we went out to look for a plastic rain cover for the place we were and bed sheets to make the place we were sleeping a bit more comfortable because we were all traumatized and afraid of the houses and we finally realized the houses were the real danger. That's what happened in the first days after the quake. But after a while we received some tents and spent a long time living in them. The value of a house is a big deal. God didn't create us humans to live in open, without a home. He created us to live in a place with a roof over our head. When someone doesn't have a house, they experience how difficult and complicated life can be. So this house represents a lot to us, and I believe God will not miss the opportunity to bless those who contributed to give us these houses. These houses are really important. It's the beginning of an autonomy for the family, because when you don't have a place to live, you're not really independent. Today you move to this place, and tomorrow you move to that You can't build anything stable because you're not stable. This house is a symbol of stability, and it helps you start planning for a better future. I thank the Lord this morning that I can be a beneficiary, and now I have my key in my hand. This is by God's grace. I also thank God for blessing these people who help us own a house to improve our quality of life. I ask God to bless everybody involved in this project so they can continue with the project and they can complete everything else they have to do. Thank you very much. I thank God that he found your heart available. Because for God to use someone, he needs to find their heart. And he found your heart available to work on this project. I pray that God continues to open doors before you, giving you additional means to continue with the project. Because it's not common to find people thinking of helping other people, helping them get out of a bad situation to a better life. So I hope that God blesses you, helps you to grow, opens your heart, and multiplies your family. May God bless you.